What's up everybody? Before we kick off this video, I just wanted to thank everybody for continuing to subscribe, comment, like, all the things you guys have been doing. The channel's growing super fast and couldn't be more stoked about it. Um, got a bunch of how-tos. I know I've been mentioning in the last couple of videos, I'm just trying to blaze through a bunch of them so we can start knocking out even more content. I've been absolutely swamped at the shop lately, so it's hard to be doing all the work I need to be doing and trying to make videos, because uh, the videos obviously take a good amount of time. Um, catching up though, so expect more videos to start popping up, and uh, let's get going on this next project. What's up everybody, welcome back to the blog. Got a, another how-to today, this is how to do coil springs. This is a two-stage uh, glowing yellow over super chrome. So it'll also show you a little bit about going over super chrome and the carrying process, because I don't think I've done a ton of that on this channel yet. Um, I love glowing yellow, looks good over white and chrome and silvers, things of that nature. Uh, it's kind of an antifreeze green color. Doing a bunch of springs, so let's get to it. All right, so I already threw some of the springs into the chemical stripper. These ones are going in next. Um, these two over here, I guess I'll explain real quick. These were chrome plated when they arrived. Um, had the nickel and the chromium, the shiny part that you normally would see on the outside have been removed, exposing just the copper plating that's still left. The copper is actually really hard to strip off, especially on springs, um, even in the reversing of the chrome process. So I just have them bring it down to this. The, copper is soft enough that when I blast it, it'll give it enough profile for powder to stick to. So we'll get these thrown into the stripper right now and go from there. All right, I got these last springs out of the stripper. Um, this is how they come out. They get like a tiny bit of surface rust on them, but that'll just blast off obviously. So all the rest of these have already been blasted. This is the last set. So I'm gonna go get these blasted now and we'll uh, start throwing some color at them. So I figured I would show you guys on these ones since they are uh, still copper. But I figured showing this color with the super chrome, which is the base coat for the color that we're going to end up with, uh, showing this color, showing super chrome over this would show the areas that are going to be an issue when you're spraying. Um, I mean, this is theoretically a, a Faraday cage nightmare just because it's just a bunch of circles. Um, so getting powder in the center is a little hard. Uh, one thing you're definitely gonna have to do on these is rotate them. And I usually spray up the center and down from the top uh, into the center as well. Um, sometimes put, depending on the length of the spring, I'll put a six inch tip on it or a four and a half inch tip. Um, so yeah, we'll get to spraying these things right now and I'll show you some of the areas that take powder better than others. Shitty ground up here. I have the KV set on this is about 40 right now. I'll rotate these and grab the camera and show you some of the issues here. Okay, so if we can look in here, you can actually see some of the orange it's still visible, the copper. Um, inside the spring, obviously, is gonna be harder to get powder down into. You can see there's actually quite a few areas that still need more powder. Um, when you're doing a steel spring, you know, gray color, and you're putting gray over top of it, it's gonna look fully coated. Um, you know, I've done it, I checked it a few times with um, LED flashlights just to verify. You can see some of the areas where powder just does not wanna go. Um, 
You can try adjusting the grounds. What I do, I have the whole rack grounded with just this one right here. Um, what I'll end up doing is pulling this off and putting it on the very bait, like the very bottom of each spring. And that'll fix this issue for me entirely. So you wanna make sure you have clean hooks. These hooks are fairly clean, all things considered. And like I said, this whole rack has been grounded. So we'll get back to uh, finish spraying these. The Super Chrome uh, laid down on these things. Uh, it's all cooled. Cured these at, I, I went to 4.30 and then I set a timer for 12 minutes. Um, seems to be about what works for these most of the time. So, gonna be throwing glowing yellow over top of this. It's a, kind of an antifreeze green transparent color. Um, real close to shocker yellow. Most people are very familiar with shocker yellow. This is glowing yellow. I like it better than shocker but it's basically the same. The KV set on this to uh, just under 30, kind of bounces up to 30, but it's basically right at 30. Same as the way I shot the base coat, the whole rack is grounded. Um, I've had a bunch of people ask me about my ground setup, and honestly, it's nothing special, but I'll try to include it in a little more depth in a video that I actually have time to be making, unlike this one right now. So. This color covers extremely, extremely well. So you get most of what you need covered first spray every time. Very rarely need to go back and like touch anything up on it. But still want to check it, obviously. Don't just take my word for it, especially if you've never sprayed it before. down to the lower rack. Okay, got a good number of these done. I'm gonna hang these in the oven and I have a whole nother rack of these down below. So we'll get going on those. All right, here they are, out of the oven. It's uh, glowing yellow over super chrome on way too many springs. So we're gonna get these wrapped up, end up, uh, back in the customer's hands here in the next couple days. All right, small change of plans. Got these loaded up and I'm gonna be delivering these myself today. Um, it's like a 40 minute drive. I don't know what you guys are gonna see of this, but I'm putting it in this video for now. There it is guys, another uh, tutorial. Gonna throw up some pictures right here of 
the project installed on the Jeep. Uh, all these springs were going on a rock crawler. Um, I've been figuring out the community page a little bit more and what it can and can't do or how it's useful and how it notifies you guys. So um, if you turn notifications on, especially if you hit the notification bell and turn everything on, um, you'll get the heads up anytime I post on the community page as well. Um, if not, you end up only seeing notifications of videos, I believe. By now you should have at least blown It's funny, I'm mad famous for being unknown Good evening, good afternoon, or other times uh, Thanks for watching that video Hopefully it was at least okay uh, But who knows, maybe this next one will be even better So give this one a watch, or this one over here And I don't know, while you're here, hit that subscribe button